um, year eight. Today we're going to be trying to create a collage. Now this is a uh, Mark Harold collage and I just wanted to point out a couple of things. On this you will see that there's a background and there's what's called a foreground and then a middle ground in any picture and we're going to try and think of those things when we're creating our picture today. So in the foreground of this you'll see all of these um, lovely wee stones and different different um, leaves and even the animals. In the middle ground then you see the water and maybe a little hut and a wall and then in the background you see the um, sky and the, the houses, the little buildings, okay? Now, you will find that in the background you have less detail and in the foreground you have more detail. So that's how to show that those things are different. It's a bit like when you're creating a stage set um, for a school play. When I'm doing a stage set, I think about what's going to be in the front, what's going to be in the middle, what's going to be in the back. So when you're doing your collage, here's another one of squirrels. Again, the squirrel is the foreground in the front of it. In the middle ground, there's, there's a house. And then in the background, the trees are very, very tiny. And of course, they are tiny to give the idea of distance. And then they're not as detailed as the things in the front, like these leaves. You don't see the detail of leaves in the background. You just see the shape of the trees. So today, when we're doing our collage, I want you to think about what goes in the front, the foreground, what goes in the middle, the middle ground, and what goes in the background, okay? Now, for my picture today, I've made a start actually with coffee. I have an old piece of card, and I've decided that in my background, I'm going to have some mountains. Um, in my foreground, I'm going to have maybe a, a rabbit or something like that, a large animal. That's going to be in my foreground, and then... In my middle ground, I will have a pathway. I maybe have some hills. I might have some trees, some fields. I'm not too sure. And then in my other part of my foreground, I'm going to have some trees just framing the picture like that. So that's all done very roughly. I'll probably do some grasses in here. Again, that's all rough. Um, so um, I cut this out just to try this out. But remember the lovely stuff that we made um, with our coffee? So this one was made with salt, still a bit of salt on it. That's a lovely texture and an interesting texture. So I'm going to get my rabbit shape, or you can do this with a shape that you draw out, and I'm going to cut it out. So what I did was just place that down and cut around it so I've got a rabbit shape that's going to be in my foreground. Now, as well as that, then I got some other coffee um, things that we made, and I cut out shapes for trees. Um, I'll maybe add that on there, I'm not sure. I might put that one there. <clears throat> so you can also then cut out shapes for branches as well. So you could have a branch coming over there. You can have the rabbit or the hair, I think it is really. And then if you remember the ones that we did with blowing coffee, <clears throat> so it's sort of, it almost looks like grasses. Now that will take time because you'll have to, cut those out but they are well worth cutting around the shape to get an interesting shape which would make your grasses. Now I'm very aware that my picture is made up all of browns and not a lot of colour um, and I know that you don't have a lot of colours maybe in your house so I'm happy enough if your picture is mainly of the one sort of colour of browns or greens or whatever you can get hold of. So I'm starting to as you can see this layer this all up I also got some paper, which was from, um, I think from around some flowers, and I was going to lift all those off. Now, the nice thing about collage is you don't have to stick anything down until you're absolutely sure. So I'm going to play about with all these shapes. So that's going to be one, um, one part of my background. I'm going to try and cut the path out, more or less. So that's going to be one hill. I'll maybe do the same for the other and um, put that in there so I'm going to cut around to make the path shape I'm doing this very quickly just because I want you to um, be able to do this yourself it's not quite right again doesn't have to be perfect so you've got the hills then we start to put things back on we put the the rabbit on 
Um, we might think of a colour for the sky. Again, I've got a piece of paper which I might tear up. Now, the lovely thing about this, if you cut it, you get a straight edge. But if you tear it, you get this lovely effect. So you can really make interesting things like clouds just by doing that. You can get like layers in the sky. You see? So um, that could be our background. Again, I'm just going to lay all this down. I'll glue it later and show you what it all looks like glued down. There's the tree. There's the grasses. So the grasses and the hair are going to be my foreground. The middle ground is going to be this man, which I drew in walking along. And uh, the background then is going to be the mountains. I haven't got the mountains in yet. So just roughly placing everything where I want it. I'll maybe have the branch coming across there. The mountains, I got some old music paper, some score, and I thought it might be nice to create the mountains. Again, don't cut up anything you don't have permission. I don't want you um, wrecking people's music books, but someone who was a music teacher gave me these pages and said they were going to throw them out, so I thought, oh, well, don't throw them out. So I'm just folding that to show roughly where that's going to go. Then that's going to go in behind the hills. So I need another bit of green here for behind the hills and I need to glue all this down. I also cut out some um, shapes from, remember we did this before in class where we cut out some shapes from paper to make leaves. So that's from the music paper. So I might have those sort of lying about here as well, which is nice. Um, I've got little bits of paper like this. Not sure that might be too strong a pattern, but I might use that somewhere. So I'm going to now work away for a wee while, glue all this down, and then I'll show you in a minute what it looks like. But this is the sort of thing I want you to have a go at today. Again, if you don't have glue today, do you know what? You can just set it all out, take a photograph of it. You don't actually have to glue it down, but it would be lovely if you could find some glue. I've got PVA glue and I keep it in my extra mint, peppermint chewing gum, but it's a handy wee pot to put it in. So I'm going to glue mine down like that and then show you, okay? Now I'm going to, I've just covered this all in the PVA glue, which is great fun. And it doesn't dry too quickly. If you've got Pritt stick, you could, don't do this because the Pritt stick will dry quicker. So what I'd have to do now is to put my background on first, which is the sky. I'll do it that way. It's okay if it overlaps and goes over your page a bit because we can always trim the page. And I'm gonna go over here, fill all these wee bits in. I'm going to ignore where I've drawn the the um, the trees and things because I just want to get this all in. Again, I'm doing this in a hurry because I, I want to um, show you everything. But there you go. Now, I could turn it round as well, tear out a few little clouds, put a wee bit more glue on. So... Um, then I'm going to put on the mountains. Again, they've changed a wee bit in shape, but that's okay. Then I'm going to put on the background. Fields. Again, let's sort of tear roughly where the tree is so they don't forget. The grasses. Let's see. Just let, I'm just sort of trying to keep that wee path in because I might actually use it the background and maybe not put anything on it. I want to keep the wee man there, although I can also draw him in again. Just gonna put in the green. And again, you might have all different bits from magazine, wrapping paper. I think you just don't wanna have too much pattern that's like this one here. It's just a bit too much, I think, to use on this because it just it would be the one thing your eyes would go to and it might not be what you want, just to have spots before your eyes. So I'm gonna stick on my tree. Let's see what way to have that there. So again, it's just gonna overlap. And my rabbit. I'll not put my rabbit on until I do the rest of the background. This might take you guys, you know, more than, um, 
this lesson to do this the time you gather everything up so I'm not expecting to see this finish today but I would maybe like to next week on zoom see how you've got on with it yeah and then we might spend some time finishing it in zoom so I'm just going to work on here with this and then I'll show you what it's like when I've finished okay And this is where I'm at now. Now I still have lots of detail. I haven't really put in lots of detail on the person. Um, the glue's still wet. I like these shapes here. Maybe could have cut them out a wee bit neater. I like here where I have got the um, the grass and I just sort of did this so that I have, I bent some of it down and some of it up here, do you see? So that I can have some of the grass actually going in front of the rabbit and stuff like that and glue that on just to make it look like he is sort of hidden by the grass i've stuck some of the leaves on so that's the first stage that's the stage i would like you to get to um maybe next by next week you know show me what you do show me what you do today even even if when you get bits of it done and then what i want to show you next week then is how you can take a photograph of this and actually work then on your ipad and um, we'll do that um, or we can also work into it with some pens and some paints whatever we have so we'll do more on this it's not going to just be a one week wonder you have to see that in art you know it takes time i also came across this lovely picture from a magazine and you know you could actually put in some real photographs so say i put this bit in somewhere you could actually create maybe more trees and more woodlands so i'll maybe have a wee go with that as well for next week and let you see how I get on. So I hope you've really got fun and make sure you clear up your table. I'd have to clear up my table before I make dinner our lunch for everybody. So make sure you don't leave a mess. Okay, and, and I'll see you next week. Bye.